and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. Welcome if you're new here. Um, so I wanted to talk about facing your fear and overcoming it as a person today. Just something simple, something easy, something, you know, we all have, sh all share, a fear. we all have a fear, right? And overcoming them. Sometimes you may, sometimes you may never overcome those fears because it depends, you know. I feel like maybe if you just faced your fear more often, you would eventually grow out of it. Sometimes you don't get that chance, so it's really hard. So, two of my fears. One, heights, very common, and two is presenting, like giving class presentations. Um, so one with heights, um, just standing on my kitchen counter, and I know this sounds gross, but like, during Christmas time, I use it to decorate, or I have to stand on it to decorate something, and it just, it, I shake and I feel like all woozy, like, no, I can't be up here. Or even, so I've only been to Mall, I only go to Mall of America like once or once a year or every so often, whenever I get a chance to get to Minneapolis or even other malls where there's, um, where there's heights, I can't go near the railing. Even in Mall of America, when they have they have the escalators that go like go up, but like you could look over and you like you look over, and if you were to fall, you you know you'd just die. And you and anyways, um, you know what I mean. If you've seen Mall of America, um, anyways, I, those scared me. Like one time, I just couldn't go up them because it freaked me out. Like I had a huge panic. I was like, no, I won't go up there. I won't go up there. Um, so this girl actually had to jump off for me because I was too young to be by myself. But it scared me and I felt really bad. I'm sorry that you had to do that, but I'm so thankful that you did that. Um, so yeah, that's... So, but anyways, I've been trying my best to face that fear, but because I don't come into contact with a lot of heights or with heights at all, doesn't like there's no way I can get used to it or get over it it's something that will always be in my life but there's but I did face it a few times there has been a few times like they're little but it helps so um this past summer I went to Valley Fair and so I had a trip in Minneapolis um anyways I went to Valley Fair and there was like the power tower that takes you a hundred feet up that swing that or the yo-yo ride as well it takes you a hundred feet up and like it drops you down and then there's the rip cord that they have there it's soup it scared the G it scared me a lot like I was like I can't I don't know if I can do this but yet I paid for it and all of that and but I did it and I guess in a way that's facing your fear but there's this thing that I want to do in New Zealand it's the Nevi Swing, I think it's called, and I think that would be really cool, a really cool way to face your fear, except, unfortunately, it's in New Zealand, so maybe start with, um, zip lining, because, <laughs> like, that's something I'd be nervous about, too, is zip lining, because it's so, um, it's super high up still, right? So even skydiving, like you could do that where I'm from, but I'd still be scared. I don't think I'd be scared with skydiving because it's too high up that you can't really see the ground. So it's just like the mentality of seeing the ground, but like, if that makes sense to you, I don't know. It makes sense in my head, but it's hard to explain. If you know what I mean, like, you know, you're so high up in the air that the clouds may be in the way, I don't know. Um, that might have just sounded really dumb, too. Anyways, that's one fear. Second fear is my, is class presentations. Two biggest fears, like, talking to you right now, or it sounds like I'm out of breath, it's just anxiety because I'm talking to a camera. I'm not talking to anyone, but yet still it gives me anxiety. So even talking in front of a class, it's like my heart is racing. And then I'm going so, so fast, like talking so fast that I can't catch a break. And then I'm like, okay, I gotta slow myself down. It's just a presentation. And one thing I realized too, 
the other day is I always told myself, I don't ever want to get married. I don't want have the intentions, you know? But at the same time, I want to because it's just, a, it's seems like, a, I don't know, it's hard to explain why I want it. Just like, I've always wanted some kind of wedding. And it's not like I'm engaged or have a boyfriend, it's just, you know, every girl's dream, I guess. Um, but I guess the, this is going to sound crazy, but the reason why I don't want to get married is because it's like, all eyes on you and whoever you're getting married to and that that scares me and I guess also the whole idea of being married scares me too still um but even sorry but like I know it's like a little irrelevant but it feels like a, like a, a presentation but it's not but like it's just like getting that attention like kind of scares you Anyways, I know that's a weird reference, so like giving class presentations, just like even going up, even like a small group of people, like, ex like another, like, I know this is going to sound crazy, but even just saying your name and introducing yourself gives me anxiety that I have to talk in front of people. I like to stick to myself, but maybe like, I think this is trying, I'm trying to use this as a mechanism to help me build skills anyways um of course the vacuum had to come on i will that is basically it let me know below your fears i would love to hear them sorry the vacuum went on i would love to hear your fears or like how you've overcome them and if, if you've overcome them or faced them anyways that is it. That is all. Have a great and lovely evening. Bye.